So you've never seen a Star Wars movie. That's okay. Sometimes neat, fun, huge, cultural shifting pieces of entertainment miss me as well. It's all good. Hi, I'm Hello Greedo. This is my Star Wars YouTube channel. All of my followers are probably wondering why am I making this video? This is a Stormtrooper helmet. Okay, all the episodes, all the trilogies, all the anthology films. Is it a little confusing? I can totally see how it would be, but don't worry. It's not nearly as confusing as figuring out which Harry Potter movie comes next without looking it up. And I'm sure you've had friends try to overly explain things to you as you kind of zone out. Eh, don't worry, it's simple. In this image, the top timeline is our real world time. The bottom timeline is for the internal Star Wars timeline inside of the movies. The first ever Star Wars movie came out in 1977. At the time, it was just called Star Wars. Later on, it was renamed to Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Episode 4? Yeah, ep Episode 4. In 1980, Episode 5, The Empire Strikes Back, was released. In 1983, Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, came out. These three films were what people call the original trilogy, the movies that started it all. From 1984 to 1998, there were no new Star Wars movies. But in 1999, that changed. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace was released. In 2002, Episode 2, Attack of the Clones came out. And in 2005, Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith was released. These three films are what people call the prequel trilogy. They take place before the original trilogy in the Star Wars timeline. Which trilogy should you start with first? Surprisingly, that's a hotly debated question, but for me, it's a no-brainer. Watch the saga in the way it was released. Watch the original trilogy first. It started it all. There are some plot twists in the original trilogy, and if you watch the prequel trilogy first, it's possible that those plot twists could be spoiled. Not that they haven't already been spoiled for you just by living on planet Earth, but it's kind of neat watching the movies in the order that they were released, in the way that the world first saw them. Sometimes I call the original trilogy the question, and the prequel trilogy the answer. You want to know the question before you know the answer, right? Ultimately, it's up to you how you want to watch the saga. Maybe there's one randomly on TV one day, and you decide to tune in. That's fine. You will hear so many different opinions. Just do what you want. So where do the new movies fall in the timeline? In 2012, Disney bought Lucasfilm, which gave them ownership of the Star Wars franchise. And with that came the announcement of new Star Wars movies. We are currently on the tail end of the new trilogy. Episode 7, The Force Awakens, came out in 2015. Episode 8, The Last Jedi, came out in 2017. And Episode 9 is not out yet. We don't yet have a title, but it's slated to come out December 2019. These three films take place after the original trilogy. They continue the overall story, the overall saga, and they are referred to as the sequel trilogy. So you have the original trilogy, the prequel trilogy, and the sequel trilogy. All of the films in these three trilogies are considered the episodic films. They're numbered, they further a linear story. But what about that solo movie trailer you saw during the Super Bowl? Well, that is considered an anthology film, and they are a new thing in Star Wars. The anthology films tell little stories that take place in between the episodic films. Whenever you see the film's title say, A Star Wars Story, that's an indication that the movie is an anthology film. As of this video, there has only been one anthology film released. It's called Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, and it came out in 2016. In the time frame of the Star Wars saga, Rogue One takes place right before Episode Four: A New Hope, the first ever Star Wars movie. They literally link right up. The next anthology film coming out is Solo, A Star Wars Story, and its release date is May 25th, 2018. What else do you need to know about Star Wars if you've never seen a Star Wars movie? Nothing. You don't need to know anything else. I could go into great detail about plot points, characters, and special editions, the Clone Wars, games, George Lucas, and a bunch of other stuff, but there's no point. You just have to watch some movies. That's it. And if you haven't already seen a Star Wars movie, there's a good chance that you're just not that interested. You don't really care that much, which is fine. I 100% get it. It can be extremely annoying when somebody is overly explaining something that you don't have much interest in, right? I've heard it. They'll go on and on explaining what this alien is and what that character is like or the plots. Just tell them to stop. Hey, 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 stop. All you gotta do is watch a couple Star Wars flicks. See what you think? It's worth a shot. And if you still don't like it, that's cool. Like what you like. Hello, Greedo. Out.